Well, something started really well that ended in absolute shower. Complete joke. And it's not down to the players, it's down to the management, the coaching, the staff. Because what is going on at that club at all? The subs are ridiculous, yet again. By the way, this is a review on Birmingham versus Sunderland. Sunderland 1, Birmingham 2. Um, <clears throat> away at St Andrews and we went 1-0 up and they equalised but we just put ourselves out the game one of our most threatening players on the pitch was Mundell Mundell was taken off still had loads of energy clearly, you could see that um, no injury um, and threatening goal and we took him off put Rusin on um, which he should have been on from the beginning instead of Burstow uh, Rusin's again off on his own, no options. Eventually you get Hamir on the pitch with less than three or four minutes to go. So finally we get two strikers on our pitch, but too little, too late, yet again from Beal. It seems like in the discussion I had after the end of the game on the SAFC Fan TV stream, that everyone knows the issue. Everyone knows what's gone wrong and what he's done wrong, but he just doesn't seem to learn from it. And then, to top it all off, takes Hume off, who's been absolutely vital to the defence through this game, and I get you want to go more attacking, not a problem, but there's better changes to make. But he took Hume off nevertheless. Hume walks round the pitch, comes off the side to make it quick, walks round the pitch, Approaches Beal, hand out, trying to shake his hand as you do when you leave the pitch with the manager. Gets completely blanked, ignored. He's going to come up with the excuse he didn't see him, but it wasn't a split second, it was a while. Everyone could see that, completely got blanked. It's not a case as, has Beal lost the dressing room? Did he ever have the dressing room? I know I've been on the fence with Beal. And we've got a few results in. And it's just the fundamental mistakes. Even in the victories. Even when we win. That's down to the players. Not down to his tactics. Because his tactics haven't changed. He doesn't have tactics. He's got the same formation. He changes a few players randomly hoping it'll work. Uh, players once he makes changes. Players don't know where they are. Or how they're playing. What they're doing. Look at the heat maps of the last few games. It's absolute confusion. It's bedlam. He doesn't have the dressing room. He doesn't have the players. Our players are good quality players. A good quality coach slash manager would get be getting results back to back, home or away. I've, I'm, I'm done with being on the fence. I don't care if we win the next game 6-0 at home. I am Beal out. He is not the right man for the job. And he's certainly not somebody I'd want to see take us up into the Premier League. I want to see us go to the Premier League, but not with that guy at the helm. All in all, for the game, as a review, Equa, I think, did brilliantly. He was all over the place, trying his hardest for everything. And Mundell looked superb. Again, strange why he would be taken off and how Job is still starting let alone getting 90 minutes baffles me that's it wanted to come on give you a quick review didn't want to leave you hanging on that one um, vented most of my frustrations during the live so yeah hashtag be out.